Hey guys, it's me, EOD Gaming here, and today we're back with another 2 minute very quick build guide video. And today I'm teaching you how to build a very specific new meta Hyper Bloom Raiden Shogun build. And now, very quickly, I have here a Hyper Bloom Raiden build which is stacking elemental mastery using the Dragon Spin also to give just an additional elemental mastery on Raiden Shogun. For those of you who don't have Dragon Spin, you can easily use any other elemental mastery weapons, for example, the Ketane Cross Spear. And in terms of artifacts, I'm actually running the relatively new Flower of Paradise Lost set to give me that additional damage for Hyper Bloom reactions. Of course, you can easily go for a 4-piece Gilded Dreams, but I do think that one advantage that Paradise Lost has over Gilded Dreams, it doesn't have this requirement where you have to have a specific uh, team comp and you could be more flexible in terms of play. Testing has been done, which I've done for Cookie and Toma already, and it shows that Flower of Paradise Lost still outperforms Gilded Dreams in general. So I just farm just the main stat of Elemental Mastery, Elemental Mastery, Elemental Mastery, and the Feather and Flower is just looking for Elemental Mastery sets as well and completing the 4-piece bonus. And as for team comps, I do like characters like Barbara or Kokomi as well as Yelan or Sing Chiu for the Hydro slots. I prefer generally to run two uh, Hydro units to give the uptime on the Hydro application. Generally, I like to fill in this slot to give myself a little bit more damage from Yelan's off-field support as well as healing from Kokomi given that currently we don't have any Dendro healer. But once we do have Dendro healers that come out in future, this variation could change quite significantly. You can run Nahida if you wanted to or you could also run Dendro MC Kole. Both works really well as long as you have good amounts of Dendro application to supplement the Bloom Seed generation with Hydro. Raiden Shogun generally be, be used in more of an off-field scenario where her E is just proccing at the target and proccing the Hyper Bloom that are the seeds that are just beside the enemy unit. And if you're interested to see this build in action, I've already done a video which I'll link right here on these four characters in a Raiden Hyper Bloom team. I think that you'll be really interested in. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video.